the communications minister, that's Montli Kungubele, will is set to lead the inaugural National Artificial Intelligence Summit, which launches this morning in Auckland Park. The gathering stems from a report of the Presidential Commission on the Fourth Industrial Revolution, which emphasized the need for a comprehensive approach in the adaptation of artificial technology in the country. Governments around the world are scrambling to find policy and governance responses in the face of rapid advances in AI. Get your sense of what to expect at this gathering. Part of our team there is Nozin Dombi Mia, who joins us now for a sense of what's to come. Nozin Dombi, great to see you as always. It's an important gathering no matter where you stand on AI. What do we know about what's likely to happen? Well, thank you so much, Ayanda. Where we are standing right now, we are at the UJ uh, Business uh, College here, uh, just down the road from Auckland Park. And we're here at the Government Artificial Intelligence Summit. And this is where all the tech comes together to try and find new and innovative ways to make life easier, not just for ordinary citizens, but for government and to help government implement uh, different ways of using technology to improve the health of people, to improve the quality of life of people, and also with creating jobs. And I do have with me the chairperson of the JBS, the business school here, to talk to me a little bit more, a bit more about why this uh, summit today is so important and the, the importance of using technology not just as a standalone item, but also to improve the quality of life of people. Thank you so much. That this is a, we're here at your summit today. Um, this is a very important day. What are the key highlights that our, our viewers at home should know about the, today's summit? Well, as you said in your introduction, that artificial intelligence is really important. It's affecting our lives already in many different ways. The way we live, the way we, for instance, enjoy content and so on, but also the way that uh, the world of work is changing. So today is about particularly the government, the Minister of uh, Communications and Digital Technologies, uh, Minister Tukungubele, outlining what the government policy around artificial intelligence is and where we are going, yeah. uh, but also just bringing all different stakeholders, education institutions, uh, people who are in technology, uh, users and so on, uh, to come and talk about the opportunities that are presented by artificial intelligence in the world of work, but also how the country uh, and all of us deal with the risks associated with artificial intelligence. Because uh, there's a, whilst there's a good side of artificial intelligence, there's also a dark side of artificial intelligence just in terms of our rights as individuals, our rights as content creators, as an example. Uh, all of those things are really important. And the discussion today is going to deal with a lot of those issues to make sure that as a country, uh, we're already lagging behind, but as a country, we need yeah. to really catch up and actually Absolutely. be up there in yeah. terms of what we do as South Africans in not just being consumers of artificial intelligence, but being the users and producers yeah. of artificial intelligence. Not just always being the people that are just utilizing it. You know, you said something very important. Let's talk about the, 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 the changing of, of the legislation around it. Why is it so important for, for legislation to be put in place, not just as a regulatory function, but also as a way to try and open up the space to not just make users, just the users, but to yeah. be able to be people who produce that can be exported? Well, the whole world, uh, all governments throughout the world are grappling with this issue around policies, legislation and regulations around artificial intelligence because what is actually happening is that companies that are investing significant amounts of money, billions of rands or dollars or pounds or euros in artificial intelligence mm -hmm. often are ahead of where governments are. And that creates a whole lot of uh, challenges for citizens, particularly because what you then end up with uh, are areas of risks that affect us as citizens throughout the world. So as South Africa, it's particularly important for us to understand that uh, it is important to have regulations, to have policies, to have legislation that controls how artificial intelligence is used, how it's developed, uh, because if we don't do that, 
there are risks that affect all of us. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, with, with today's uh, event, you are somebody that is so well respected in the country, so well known for what you've done in the education space. And you're marrying those two different um, parts of your experience, the AI as well as education. How do you think that those two could move forward in the next five to ten years? As an example, you know, at uh, Future Nation Schools, which are the schools that uh, I own, uh, we already teach artificial intelligence, coding and robotics, and all the other areas, including things like machine learning, uh, large language models, and so on, so that our children, again, are not just consumers, but are also creators of content, are creators of amazing things that can come out of artificial intelligence. Because the world of work is changing, and it's going to change forever. And therefore, it is important for our young people, yeah. not just to use these technologies and so on, but also to create them. Yeah. Because the world of work m means that, uh, you know, our people, and especially our young people, where we're grappling with unemployment and all of this, there are new opportunities that are out there, yeah. which can actually create. We already have a lot of our young people that are coding, that are writing large language models and so on, participating in artificial intelligence, not just in this country, you know, internationally as well. Yeah, I love that. Not just users, but also creators. Before I let you go, um, what is expected in today's conference? Who are the, 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 the keynote speakers and what's the outcome that's expected? Well, we have Minister Gungubele, who is the Minister of uh, Digital Technologies and Communications, yeah. uh, who's going to deliver the keynote address today. Yeah. But we have a lot of other technology companies. We have regulators here. We have electronic communications companies here. We have technology companies, artificial intelligence companies. It's quite amazing actually what's happening in South Africa, but where South Africa is also playing yeah. in the rest of the continent when it comes to AI. Yeah, absolutely well positioned. The, the, the UJ Business School positioning itself really well in the AI space. Yeah, absolutely. So at the Johannesburg Business School about four years ago now, we decided to change our strategy because we're a new business school and technology and artificial intelligence is particularly at the center and the core of the programs that we run. So if you look at, for instance, uh, our MBAs or our doctoral uh, degrees that we have or even our master's degrees as well as a lot of our short learning programs that allow a lot of access to people who otherwise may not have access so the JBS is really well positioned and in fact we as JBS have partnered with the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies particularly in this AI space. Thank you very much. I'm going to let you go. I can hear from the inside that the um, program has actually started. So we're going to let you go. Thank you Thank very you. much. Um, Ayanda, before I hand over back to studio, I just want my camera colleague, Vanessa Langa, to just show you at the back what we're seeing here. And this is where uh, the main lobby of the event is happening. And there was a little, um, there was a little um, display that, that was shown just a little bit earlier. But this is really where the lobby is. And at this lobby, this is where all the different organizations. I see here Microsoft, I see here the South African Artificial Intelligence Association, digital, um, you know, different companies are coming here to showcase their ways, to showcase what they have in terms of uh, technology, in terms of artificial intelligence, and in terms of showcasing their wares and what they have. But very important points coming out of the chairperson of the, the business school here at UJ, talking about how society in South Africa should not just be users, but we should be encouraged to also be creators. Key point coming out of this summit, the summit is expected to take um, throughout the course of the day, and we do know that there will be a keynote address from the minister, Kungubela. Uh, Ayanda, it's back to you, Studio. Thanks very much. Indeed, an important gathering there unfolding in Auckland Park.